here tonight. Do you want to come over? Okay. <laughs> uh, start with the Pledge of Allegiance. If you would stay standing after the Pledge, please. Pledge of Allegiance is to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would just like to take a uh, moment of silence uh, to recognize uh, uh, two young ladies, Mary Ella and Elizabeth Anal, uh, ages uh, 11 and 9, who were involved in a uh, horrific uh, accident uh, on September 3rd where they lost their lives and their, and their mothers uh, still in the hospital and, uh, with some severe injuries. So if we could just take a moment of silence for those young ladies. Okay, thank you. Okay. Right, the and um, everyone's uh, an issue the uh, minutes. Can I get a motion to adopt the minutes as uh, distributed? I'll move it. I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. <clears throat> All right. May I get a, have a motion to open a public hearing to adopt a local law to override the tax levy limit for uh, general municipal law section C3? I'll move it. I'll second. <clears throat> okay. Discussion. All right, every year we, we pass this um, in order to make sure that we, we happen to go over the tax limit, which this year I think it's either 2% or the lower of the cost of living. I think this year it's 1.6 uh, or 1.8%, I'm not sure right now, but um, we do that just in case for some, some reason we have to go over that, we need to pass this uh, local law. Now, my objective this year is to come in with no tax increase. Um, I, I've been looking at the numbers. I think I, at this point right now, I think that uh, we should be able to do that. We might have to make some hard choices, but I think it's important this year with 30 million people across the United States, and certainly some of those people live in the town of Lysander, to at least do as much as we can to relieve that tax burden on our, our <coughs> residents. Um, the, the state and the county, I don't know what they're going to do, but things don't look that, that good for them. Uh, it doesn't look good for the uh, residents of uh, Onondaga County either. So that's what this is all about. So, um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. They have a motion to close the public hearing. Or, uh, yes, that was, that was the public that was a public hearing. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I better give the, the uh, citizens an opportunity to speak. Moving ahead of myself a little bit here. Does anybody have any comments to make on, on this uh, local law? Okay. Uh, now, may I have a motion to close the public hearing? I'll move that. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Motion carried. I better read my own notes sometimes. <laughs> um, right, we got that one. Citizens' comments. Does anybody from the audience have any comments to make regarding town business? Yes, ma'am. Do I just stand here you can stand and say? Right out. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I know like three of the board members already, but because you are new and I know there's another gentleman on the board that is new. I am Norma Ward Newman, and I live up in Pulaski, but I have been a resident of the town of Lysander most of my life, so many over 50 years. And I have always came to the town board to try to get money for the three public cemeteries that are in the town of Lysander. And I know you will be using, beginning to start your budget in October to get ready for it. 
And since I think this will be the fifth year that they have allocate, allocated $10,000 to be shared between the three cemeteries would be Plainville, Jacksonville, and Lysander. And those funds are needed greatly by these cemeteries. I know it saved Lysander Cemetery, and we use it to try to make sure all our maintenance is done, if a tree comes down and what needs to be done, and to try to build our roads. And I'm urging the town board again to please put this $10,000 in your budget for this coming year. It would be greatly appreciated by all. Okay. Thank you, Norma. I'm here. <laughs> Norma, can I ask a quick question? Uh, so for the money that the board had budgeted for this year, you guys, where are you guys this year? I don't know what you mean on what we've done, what they've taken or not taken. Taken, yeah. As far as which cemeteries? I think all of them have used them. All of them have. Uh, I haven't submitted any. I'm with Lysander. She's secretary treasurer of the Lysander. I'm Bonnie Keller Blake, and I have not yet submitted a voucher, which I will do probably like in October or November. I'm still waiting for work to be done on our driveways, and then I submit a voucher for whatever the driveway expense will be. Plus, uh, if if there's any money extra, you know, that for like for mowing or something, and I include bills with that, and the town has been very, very nice about send, sub, sending me a check uh, uh, at the end of the year. So, and we really appreciate it because it's been able to uh, help us get tree work done, uh, maintenance on the driveways, the mowing is being done every two weeks, and uh, we've also uh, been able to do, uh, there's one couple that does building maintenance for us. And uh, we're hoping that this next year we'll be able to put a new metal roof on our building. And uh, the money that the town of Lysander gives us really does help. And we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate okay. it. I, I know it's, it's a public hearing, but, but I, I have a question. Norma, um, and I, I don't know the answer to this. Did, did, is there a town liaison, liaison with for this money in the cemetery? I used to be Bob Ellis, one of the town councilors. Is there? Has anybody been appointed? Have we appointed anybody to work? Yeah, Bob's. Oh, no, we still do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, good, yeah. good, good, good. Actually, I only worked with Bob, and I can't think if there's been any. I haven't had to call for anybody else. All right, year. I just want to make sure that you have someone to turn to. You're right, and Bob, I just, just was reminded that we, Bob Ellis, stepped up to the plate. And is going to do it? Well, I think I guess he's not in so Oh, he's still so on the committee. If you don't know. hear from him, let us yeah. know. Okay, yeah. okay. So I'm okay. also on that committee, too, so. You, you can call me. Oh, okay. Okay. Because right. I run Chase Cemetery, so. Okay. Yeah. Take this, that. this will come up in our budget discussions, but the, the reason that this was such a good idea, just, just sharing this with you, is it not only was a nice thing and a good thing to do, but it also protected the town um, in a sense because if these cemeteries fail in terms of their administration by state law, the town is obligated to, to, to take them over. So this is a. To, to keep these folks uh, floating above the water is, is in everybody's best interest. And I, I agree with Bob. I When we went over there this morning, Charles <coughs> Cohen and I, uh, we talked about that, and it's a good deal for everybody. I think what you're doing saves the town, and so I don't see uh, that $10,000 changing. I think because it actually saves us money, and yeah. we appreciate what you do. Thank you. Anyone else? No? Okay, we'll move on. Supervisor's comments. Over here. Um, if you've noticed, we've, uh, the town and the highway have been uh, doing a lot of road projects. Uh, they just complete, I think they're just about complete with uh, Patchett Road. There's a little bit of uh, grading that they have to do, <clears throat> and they're currently doing Mott Road, <coughs> excuse me, and I've been up there uh, and taking a look at uh, what they're doing. They're putting in uh, additional drainage that was never there. So that road, uh, talking to Mr. Yeager, uh, should be a 50-year road, and it should uh, really enhance uh, the uh, drainage for the neighbors that are up there. I know when uh, I originally looked at uh, the road, there was a lot of drainage problems in the yard, so the uh, huge drainage tiles that they're putting on both sides of the roads should eliminate uh, a lot of that problem, and that road should be uh, good 
for at least the next 50 years, and they're moving right along with that. Uh, uh, one thing, you mentioned two roads, though. Which one are you talking about? Mott Road? Mott Road, okay. yeah. Patchett Road, Patchett Road is, uh, is complete. They, uh, they widened it and put an oil and stone it. Mott Road is where they're putting in the drain ties. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. No, I'm glad you, I mean, if uh, it wasn't clear, it certainly would not be. Um, Can I just ask a question on Patrick Road? Has Al, oh, Al disappeared? Yeah, he's, he's, he's got a question for Al as well. Um, so, did we get the money it. from the Collington Point development for yeah. them? Yes. Yeah, we did. Okay. We did. Okay. Thank you. What was the question? That was oh, the question. I didn't know it was for Al. Yeah, it was, oh, yeah. you can grab them and bring them in. They're just uh, doing some work if you want. Um, <coughs> in the park, uh, they also. Oil and stone uh, parking lot, so the parking lot uh, is sealed and it, and it looks a lot better. They, they did some additional maintenance on it, so the lights that were out, the lights are up and they're fixed. So we're moving forward with uh, improving the maintenance in the park, as like some of the residents have said, um, they like they like what they see, and hopefully we can continue to keep doing that. Uh, right now, um, as Mr. Moore said. Uh, we're going to be working on the the budget, and uh, like I said, I'm going to uh, you know my goal is to get that budget down where there's no tax increase, and hopefully we can do that. But certainly that's that's what I want to do. Uh, it's my first budget, so I've been um, uh, there's a learning curve for me as well. But I've been uh, working with Mr. Rowley, and uh, we've been uh, going over it, and I've been looking at the numbers, and the town employees have done. Uh, a very good job starting in March when I asked them to start cutting their um, discretionary spending. So I looked at one thing from the, um, one of the parks, I think right now, one of the numbers that I saw, there should be a, about a $60,000 savings in the park alone. Now obviously that's one of the bigger items, but the highway, I think we're doing very well in the highway where there should be a surplus, even though we're doing um, we bought additional equipment this year. We did a lot of the uh, road work. In fact, we did all of the road work that uh, we had um, scheduled with the exception of Willard Parkway, and that was due to uh, funding issues. I was worried about the funding from the state, so that was pushed off till next year. But right now, everything that we had planned on doing is pretty much done. So that's it for me, Mr. Kudarasis. Uh, I just want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. Uh, <coughs> looks like we have a full house tonight, which is always a good thing. Uh, my question I wanted to ask you and I'll get it later was about the oil and stone in the park. Um, it looks like they they cut a big chunk out before and they just oiled and stoned over it without before grading it. So it's kind of like a speed bump now. So yeah, I got to get with Jerry and Al on that later. So. Uh, because we, with a, uh, I'm on the parks committee trying to make the park a, a nicer place, right? And we oil and stoned it. It would be nice if it was graded nicely before we put the oil and stone down. So that way it's not a, you know, an eyesore, so to speak, or a traffic hazard. Uh, along with that, me and Bob and uh, Tony Birkinshaw had a nice meeting at the park um, on Monday to talk about you know, the, the tennis courts and adding additional pickleball courts. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of people there playing pickleball, which is, was a nice thing to see. And they were asking about lights as well, too. So that's something that we're gonna have to revisit as well, uh, about you know, providing them night light so that way they can play a little bit later. Because obviously you can start their here sooner than later. Um, other than that, that's all I have today. Mr. Trask. I don't have anything tonight. Thank you folks for coming out. More. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out. Thanks for watching on PAC. I'm going to stick to the agenda. Like Bob said, I think we have some amazing employees. Um, I'm excited to get into the budget process. Um, the only department I've seen so far was uh, we got a copy of the parks budget. Um, so I'm excited to see the rest of the budgets come in. And you know, uh, I share the supervisor's uh, thoughts when it comes to taxes. And, Hopefully we can keep the budget flat this year. So, so that's everything. Department <coughs> heads, Mr. Rowley. I uh, just uh, would like to report uh, to let the public know and the town board know that we we 
closed on the serial bonds on Monday uh, for the LED lighting project that we had to took. Uh, we took out a bond anticipation note back in May and under advice from fiscal advisors, um, they uh, urged us to go out to the market now instead of waiting a year, um, which typically you do with a bond anticipation note. Uh, so we closed on that for a million eight fifty on uh, Monday at one point four seven percent. So it's pretty good. That's it. Okay, Mr. Rosigo. Spell call. Um, I just have something from Tony Birkinshaw regarding what's going on at the park. Mm -hmm. um, on September 19th is the annual Lysander Pickleball Tournament. It's going to be at the park and it starts at 9 a.m. The registration is full. On September 26th, there's the annual Drunk Trunk. <laughs> Drunk Junk. in your <laughs> trunk sale held at Lysander Town Hall. Sale starts at um, 8 a.m. and it ends at 2 rain or shine. What day is that? Here. Yeah. Uh, that's the 26th, Saturday. That's here in the parking lot. Out back. Uh, on October 17th is the chicken barbecue dinner served by the Sonic River Fire Department. It's going to be a drive through and it's going to be noon until sold out, and it's $10 per dinner, rain or shine. Is that worth it? That's at Lysander Park um, on the 17th of October. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And then October 24th is the annual Halloween window painting held in the village of Ballsville from 10 to 1, rain or shine. Uh, window forms can be found online at the um, website, the Town of Center website under Parks and Rec. You can mail it, email it, or fax it, or drop it off in person. And that's all from Mr. Brown. Okay, what about from here? Nothing. So a lot of hunting licenses, though. I saw a lot of people lined up today. Oh, yeah. Selling a lot. Well, other towns, for some reason, they, they're not, their systems aren't up and running, so. I just told them to send them over here. Yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah. Now the um, uh, I forgot to mention with the uh, taxes. If you can mail your taxes in, we would appreciate that. We're trying to keep as few people in the building as we can, although we're open. But there's a drop box. There's a new drop box outside the main window, and it's a secure drop box. If you put it in uh, at night and it's there in the morning, you'll be credited for the previous day. So if you put it in uh, tonight, it'll be uh, it'll be credited for today because they'll pick it up tomorrow morning. But um, all across the county, everybody's trying to figure out how to keep people uh, away from each other and not keep them in a crowded uh, area, and we're no different. Um, although we're open, we would prefer that you use some other medium to send your uh, taxes in, either uh, drop it in the Dropbox or uh, mail it. But if you, if you do want to come, just make sure that you have your mask on. If you're sick, we'd appreciate you not coming in. And uh, make sure that uh, things are marked on the floor. To make sure that you give people plenty of space. Uh, right, did I miss anybody? Did I, did I mask on? Okay. So we'll get to the regular agenda items. May have a motion to adopt a local law to override the tax levy limit established in a general unit. Municipal Law, Section 3C. I'll move it. I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. May I have a motion to authorize the town supervisor to sign the contract with Carrier Commercial Services in the amount of $1,655. This is a yearly contract. I'll move that. I'll second it. I explained this. Um, last meeting, but this is uh, a contract because the um, carrier has uh, um, some of their uh, software that we use for our heating system. Uh, you can only get through them, so we need this uh, yearly contract. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I have a motion to adopt the 2020 budget modifications as presented by the town controller. I'll move that. I'll second. Any discussion? The only question I had was the, in the highway department, it's just a different title day. We go from secretary um, to clerk. Yeah, we had two people there. So right. there was there a secretary, and then they hired Alicia.
position, we couldn't have two people on the same title, so we hired uh, we hired her as right. a clerk one, and that's where those dollars went until we made her secretary for the highway supervisor. Okay, so we're moving it out of the clerk one. No, we're moving it out of highway to sec highway. We're moving it out of secretary to the highway superintendent to clerk one to cover the wages oh. while Alicia was in that title. Oh, got it. Thank you. Any other discussion? And um, <clears throat> Mr. Raleigh and I had discussions. Instead of doing uh, budget modifications at the end of the year, I wanted to uh, try and do as many as we could throughout the year so we get at the end. There's not 50 of them there, and people are wondering why we're doing what we're doing. It gives people a chance to look at them and uh, to see what we're doing throughout the year. So, okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I have a motion to authorize the town supervisor to sign a community host agreement with OYA at, so, um, at Solar Church Road sites A and B. I'll move it. I'll second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. They have a motion to amend the mileage for county lane to, for country lane to 0.58 miles. The original resolution passed on July 30th, 1971, has the road listed as three, uh, 0.32 miles, which is incorrect. I'll move it. I'll second it. How did we find this? <laughs> yes, that's okay. <clears throat> um, wow. The highway superintendent keeps a book a log of all the roads in, in the town. So as he was going through, uh, I think it was actually the secretary that was going through, as she was going through to update the, the book, they noticed, uh, I can't remember exactly what they, they noticed, but they saw there was some discrepancy in it. And uh, when the highway superintendent went out and measured the road, and he has a uh, GPS uh, in his car that can do that now, he noticed that it, it was 0.58 miles and only listed as 0.32. Well, the problem for us, well, it's not a problem, but that meant that there were, what, like 0.26 uh, uh, of a mile that uh, we weren't getting chips funded for, so we were actually losing money. I don't, I don't know how much that was, but uh, he's going through and uh, looking to update all the roads in, in the town right now to make sure that they're correct. And I think he, this is the second one that he found was was incorrect. We took care of it that uh, one of them at the uh, last meeting. Okay, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. May I have a motion to hold a public hearing to adopt the Timber Banks Residential Golf Community General Project Plan Amendment Number 5 on Thursday, October 1st, 2020 at 7 p.m. In the, in the Lysander Town Hall. This motion shall authorize the town clerk to advertise for sale. I'll move it. I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. They have a motion to reduce the petty cash amount in parks and recreation from $400 to $200. I'll move it. I'll second it. Okay, any discussion? Just yeah, looks, that's all about. Yeah. And why, should, why are we doing this? Well, he he has had for, well, he used to be 200. Right, I remember. We that. increased it to 400, and uh, he said he doesn't need to have $400 oh, anymore. So he's given me the $200 back, and we needed this motion just to correct it. So, okay. Great. Okay, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. They have a motion to declare the black computer desk in the highway department as surplus. Serial number 00875. I'll move it. I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Another junk in the trunk item. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. We got some junk in the trunk, that's for sure. <laughs> Any opposed? Motion carried. Any new business from the board members? Nothing. Okay. Any 
Anybody see any reason for an executive session tonight? I'd like to have a quick meeting, if possible, for an executive session to discuss personnel issues. Okay. All right. Um, I have a motion to move into executive session at 725. I'll move it. I'll second it. Okay. Right, I don't know how long that will be, so let me come out. That's all I got on, on the agenda for today. So.